Wife wants me to give up my business and get a paying job. My wife and I have been married 13 years and have three little kids together. Ages 8, 6, and 2. We're both 40. My wife left her career when our oldest was born and has been a stay-at-home parent for our three kids. Ever since, I spent many years basically grinding it out in a tough but high-paying field. Two years ago, against my wife's wishes, I left my job to try an entrepreneurial business idea. We had four years of living expenses saved at that time. The business is in the same field as I've always worked. And I really believed I could make it successful. And I still do believe this. My wife has been unsupportive to an extreme degree. She hates what I'm doing. Does not believe it will work. And badgers me daily to get a paying job. Our relationship has completely deteriorated over the past two years. The business does not currently earn any money. I still really believe I am on the right path to making it work. And want to continue. We have lived off our savings for the last two years. We have another two years of savings left before we are out of money and looking at drastic things. Like selling the house etc. My wife is really, really pressuring me to get a job. She says she is extremely stressed out over our lack of income and feels like we are living in some state of flux. She is definitely an anxious, risk-averse person. She says she feels like she can't buy anything because we have no income. We are on a very tight budget so we can stretch our savings as far as possible. She worries it will take me a very long time to find a paying job in my field and wants me to start looking immediately. I really want to see this through and spend another year on trying to make it work. But I'm also worried that I'm destroying my marriage in the process. The nature of the business makes it something I really can't do as a side hustle. It needs to be my sole focus for it to be successful eventually. Can anyone relate or offer advice? A few questions. By dipping into your savings, what opportunities are you losing? Did you have plans to upgrade your home? Buy an IP? Travel etc. that has now been put on hold? Does the remaining two years of savings exclude unforeseen medical or emergency expenses for you? Your wife or the kids? Do you honestly feel that getting a breakthrough with your product would pay back plus increase what you've spent over the last two years? Did you both equally contribute to the savings? Two years is a long time to not have seen any return on the investment of your time and funds. I appreciate why your wife is frustrated. Those saying forget what she thinks and keep going won't be there to pick up the pieces or bail you out financially if it doesn't work out. If you have to distress sell your house and amp, I can almost guarantee your wife will divorce you and ask for her share of what you spent on the business plus interest for what she could have done with the money instead. Marriage is a partnership. It's not just about you. You have a family to financially support. If the business really means the world to you, get a job in a non-competing field and continue to work on the business on the side. I think the real issue here is that you have the luxury of relying on a finite amount of savings. And it's reducing your drive to make this successful. Remove the safety net and ask yourself whether or not you would still do it. As a business owner of 9 years and been married 15, this is such an excellent post. You don't have a business. You have a hobby. You have no sales. No revenue. No profit. It's not a business. Unless you have some sort of sales. Then it's simply not a business. More time is not going to help you. Give yourself 30 days. Get a sale. If you can't, then put it on the shelf. The business has generated zero revenue since you quit your job. Why did you quit your job before it was generating revenue? It competes with the firm I left. Or I hope it will eventually compete with the firm I left. I couldn't try and start this on the side. It would violate my non-compete at my prior firm. And correct minus zero dollars revenue.